Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us today. So this day one webinar is going to discuss about features highlights in our latest release of Crosslight 2. And along with me today, we have our top speakers from Intersoft Solutions. Nicholas as our cross-platform tools lead and Andre as our chief technology officer. Nicholas will be the first to give you a brief run through about Crosslight 2 highlights and the duration would be around 40 minutes. Now, just before we begin the webinar, just a couple of housekeeping details for you. So the webinar will be fully recorded and presentation slides will be available to download in our blog, which you can access at intersoft.pt. Dot WordPress dot com. During the webinar, all your microphones technically will be muted. You can ask any question that you may have, and you can simply type your questions in the box provided on your right hand side. We will answer those questions in the QA session at the end. So today's agenda is going to discuss about Crosslight Overview, what's new in Crosslight 2, advanced series and UI components, enterprise app framework, as well as the demo. You will learn how to create full feature cross-platform business apps in minutes. So let's have a quick glance on features introduced back in Crosslight 1. Crosslight is a mobile framework and toolset which introduces a whole new level of cross-platform mobile development that emphasizes simplicity, efficiency, maintainability, reusability, and extensibility. You can write your code once and target four platforms natively, including iOS, Android, Windows Phone 8, and Windows 8. You can create enterprise-grade mobile apps in a very short time, thanks to the wealth of business components and time-saving features. So Crosslight is not just a framework. Crosslight also provides comprehensive user interface components, mobile services, and tooling support. Building on Xamarin and Microsoft, we are now able to create Android, iOS, as well as Windows apps with c -Shop. As Xamarin's enterprise partner and Microsoft VSIP, we are proud to introduce the world's first cross-platform mobile toolset. We have successfully bridged four major mobile platforms in Crosslight. And Crosslight leverages MVVM design patterns, enabling you to create cross-platform apps that are highly reusable, maintainable, testable, extensible, and scalable. So with Crosslight, you can maximize developer productivity, allowing you to market your app faster. If you come from .NET background, you should be familiar with the design patterns we introduced in Crosslight, such as the MVVM pattern. This allows you to quickly use Crosslight with minimal learning curves, therefore leveraging existing investments in Microsoft technologies. So what sets Crosslight apart is its comprehensive set of features. In addition to powerful frameworks, Crosslight also features many UI components across all platforms. So that's a quick overview of Crosslight introduced in the first version. Now, I'm going to let Nicholas to continue introducing our next flagship version of Crosslight. Well, thank you, Martin, for the introduction of Crosslight 1. I would love to introduce Crosslight 2 to all of you here. My name is Nicholas. Crosslight 2 presents an even more comprehensive and holistic solution. 
consisting of rich mobile development feature that will redefine how you build mobile enterprise apps altogether. Crosslight 2 adds over 4,000 new APIs, 200 cross-platform services, dozens of beautifully designed UI components, and over 30 new assemblies that are ready to supercharge your apps to the next level. We will see how Crosslight 2 can significantly improve mobile development experience. But first, let's take a look on some of the challenges faced when developing cross-platform enterprise mobile apps. When developing real-world applications for enterprise, cross-platform developers are faced with these challenges. What if there's a solid foundation that allows developers to perform data-related operations thoughtfully built and easily consumed? When building enterprise apps, developers are faced with view redundancy with consistent patterns throughout the app. Dealing with view patterns is also a main challenge for developers, not mentioning the navigation pattern itself. Enterprise apps are almost in the need of a reporting solution, integrated right within the mobile app. There are very few solutions in the market that offers comprehensive reporting services. When using a cross-platform apps, thoughtfully designed UI experience will give a huge boost for developers of the app. Apps that feel just right for the users will see significant improvements in downloads and app reviews. Leggy scrolling experience will certainly drive users away. To make a list view scroll smoothly, it takes a considerate amount of effort to make sure that the virtualization process during scrolling is as efficient as possible. Enterprise apps see a common pattern that can be easily adapted from one app to another app. The lack of time-saving templates is a hassle for mobile developers in getting their app running quickly. At the end of this webinar, I'll show you how to create a truly enterprise-grade app within 5 minutes. In order to cut development time, what if there's advanced tooling support that nicely integrates with their IDEs, in this case, Visual Studio, that can help to accelerate development experience. Crosslight 2 addresses the development challenges classified in several categories. Integrated data access framework that allows you to perform RESTful requests from mobile apps easily. Also, it is fully compatible with Entity Framework and Web API, with support for insertion, deletion, retrieval, and batch updates, all streamlined inside the view model. Crosslight 2 also ships with Enterprise App Framework that allows you to create enterprise mobile apps. The client UI powered enterprise reporting services allow you to view popular reporting format <coughs> such as PDF right from the mobile device. We have shipped even more gorgeous UI components that allows developers to take advantage of the native look and feel the controls and components running atop of any mobile platform. This is all done in the view level of the mobile app, with clear separation of concerns between the model view and view model. This pattern feels natural to developers and .NET developers coming from Silverhead and WPF. Crosslight 2 ships with even more advanced cross-platform services, like push notification services, social network services, async image loader services, local storage services with support for SQLite, resource loader services, and much more. 
The advanced tooling support for Visual Studio 2012 and upwards will surely accelerate developers' experience in creating reusable models, entity contacts, and entity controllers between the client and server of the mobile app architecture. Let's take a look at how the second version of Crosslight has greatly simplified data access operations for mobile developers, starting from data access services, advanced entity services, and LinkQ enables SQLite services. Data access can be classified into two major categories, remote and local data access. Concerning remote data access, the second version of Crosslight allows you to perform RESTful requests to remote data server using the Intersoft REST client, which can be used from the view model, allowing streamlined data retrieval from all views which share the same view model. The REST client supports read, update, and delete and batch operations to underlying set of data. It also supports authentication that is fully compatible with all data query specifications. It also comes with query descriptor support featuring multiple time zones. When building enterprise mobile apps, you typically need to deal with several challenges related to data management, such as creating or managing data model services, accessing and manipulating data to the data services, tracking and saving data changes, data validations, data synchronization, securing data access. Crosslight provides a complete solution to elegantly address these challenges by leveraging the industry's latest technologies and advanced data management with the modern design pattern. Crosslight provides server-side and client-side entity services, which supports OData specification, so you can perform data manipulation such as sorting, filtering, paging, include, and selection. All server data operations are automatically handled by the server entity service. Crosslight 2 provides an intuitive entity designer, which extends on Visual Studio 2012 and 13 enabling you to easily create, design, and manage your domain model and entity contacts. Using the Entity Designer, you can simply choose the database that you would like to work with, then add the tables, views, or functions into the designer. Built on top of the Microsoft Entity Framework, Crosslight Entity Designer automatically generates domain models and entity contacts that can be consumed in both client and server projects. In addition, the code generator is also able to automatically generate the entity controllers that comply with ASP.NET, Web API 2, and MVC 5, providing full data access support to each entity model. You will see the entity designer in action in tomorrow's webinar with Andre. For local data access support, Crosslight 2 provides a lightweight SQLite services with full linky support to async APIs. Best of all, it works across platforms, allowing you to perform data operations such as creating SQLite table, querying, inserting, deleting, updating, and syncing SQLite data easily. When building mobile apps, developers are typically faced with common functions such as data access, user management and authentication, logging in with social media, offline data support, incremental load for a large amount of data, also refresh, data synchronization, push notification, etc. Crosslight 2 provides a comprehensive application framework called Enterprise App Framework, which serves as best practices and guidelines for common functions found in business apps. Designed with solid patterns, the App Framework provides the power and flexibility you need 
to rapidly build enterprise-grade mobile apps. More details about the app framework and data-related services will be covered in tomorrow's webinar. The first version of Crosslight has shipped with more over than 40 gorgeous UI components built natively for each platform. Crosslight 2 includes even more advanced UI components suited for most business apps, such as full-featured navigation drawer, including the panorama view in Windows Phone, advanced master detail view, ultra refresh view, incremental load, and improved form builder support. Let me tell you a quick story of why the navigation drawer pattern is introduced. As mobile apps' complexities grow, developers are finding ways to accommodate more navigation menus inside their app. But in the same time, the screen must not feel crowded. This is where navigation drawer comes to play. The navigation drawer pattern is able to answer this challenge, allowing developers to insert more menus inside their app with minimal learning curve for the users. Crosslight 2 leverages this design pattern elegantly, allowing users to include the navigation drawer easily. The Crosslight navigation drawer introduced in Crosslight 2 allows for left and right drawer at once, which, of course, can be easily customizable to suit the needs of each application. It is very simple and straightforward to use the navigation drawer in your Crosslight apps. Simply create a new drawer view model and put the corresponding navigation items. As you can see, the drawer view model is designed intuitively, so you can easily add navigation items to the left drawer as well as the right drawer if you prefer. In addition, you can also open the navigation drawer when the app starts for the first time. We will see the navigation drawer in action in just a moment. Since the navigation drawer is not a common pattern found in Windows Phone applications, Crosslight 2 ships with a new navigation drawer component for Windows Phone by including the panorama view. It uses the same drawer view model used to create drawer navigation for iOS and Android apps. In addition to navigation components, Crosslight 2 also supports a new advanced master detail view that allows you to specify two-level list navigation optimized for tablet experience, supporting both iOS and Android platforms. Let's say you have a list of items. When tap, it will navigate within itself to display the sub-items. Tapping it once more, it will navigate to the detail frame on the right-hand side. When implemented in phones, the advanced master detail view will simply perform deep push navigation from one list to another list, then to the detail view. To let you understand better, let's take a quick look of this advanced master detail view in action. Let's say I have a list of items here. When this item is clicked, it will show on the right hand side. Let me show you the advanced master detail view. Let's say I have a list of categories, and when clicked, I have a list of items for that category. And when clicked, I will get the detail view on the right hand side. This is the advanced master detail view for enterprise mobile apps. In this release, we have included a pull to refresh component that can be used to perform a refresh for data to re-retrieve them from the server. To execute a pull to refresh, simply drag down from the list view and the pull to refresh component will be shown with a circular indeterminate progress bar. If the data retrieval is finished, the list view bounces automatically back to its place 
with the newly refreshed data. The pull to refresh feature can be easily enabled with a simple property set from the view model. Of course, it is fully customizable. Here is an example of how would you achieve the pull to refresh feature on a data list view model base. Just by setting the enable refresh property to true, this will allow you to perform a full data refresh. To enable incremental refresh, you can additionally set the enable incremental refresh property to true. The refresh implementations itself is already taken care of inside the Enterprise App Framework. As mentioned in the previous slide, the App Framework contains the necessary implementations to achieve data refresh elegantly. But of course, developers can easily override the refresh implementations to easily perform their own refresh. Similar to the pull to refresh component, the incremental loading feature can be easily enabled by a simple property set. The component itself conforms to the platform's native look and feel, allowing the app to feel natural and user-friendly at the same time. Crosslight Form Builder provides the easiest way to create rich data entry form for your business apps. In this release, the form builder has been significantly enhanced with many new features such as enum support, which will be automatically rendered as a list selection editor, and multiple visibility binding support. Even better, you can now create the forms dynamically through APIs and the ability to specify the form metadata per view model. The existing editors also received significant enhancements. We will see the improved form builder in just a moment. Crosslight 2 also ships with advanced cross-platform services, such as enterprise reporting services, push notification services, social network services, facing image loader services, as well as other more powerful services. As enterprise goes mobile, accessing reports anywhere becomes a necessity. In today's market, there is not a single unified solution to address the needs of delivering rich reports to all platforms, desktop, web, and mobile platforms. To answer these challenges, I am pleased to introduce our new reporting suite, giving you access to full reporting features such as various report type support, agnostic data source, support for complex data operations such as filtering, sorting, grouping, and much more. And best of all, the reports authored with our new reporting suite is now completely viewable in Crosslight mobile apps. This includes support for iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and Windows 8. You will see this demo in the last day of our webinar session. To develop a complete enterprise-grade apps, push notification services is a crucial part to be included. Crosslight 2 handles most of the tedious tasks to enable push notifications in your apps. For example, registering the device to the platform store service after the registration is finished, the device token is automatically retrieved and saved to the Web API database for easy device token maintenance. When you dispatch a push notification message, it is smartly queued in the Web API server and dispatched to the active device tokens. We will see this demo in the third day or the last day of our webinar session. Not only push notification services, Crosslight 2 also introduces advanced social network services capabilities. What's special about this social network service is that the social network service are completely UI agnostic. This means you can perform 
let's say, Facebook authentication completely without using any user interface. Not only that, you can also share content, getting user profile information, and getting the friends list from popular social networks. To build list apps with efficient image loaders also presents a challenge for developers. Another powerful service that's within Crosslight 2 Arsenal is the async image loader services with high performance and memory efficient implementation, progress tracking support, cancellation support, catching support, and other features listed here will surely make developers' life a bit easier. The image loader service also supports auto retry, smart queuing management, and a flexible caching expiration mode. After, the loading, after loading the image from a remote resource, the image needs to be displayed within a smart image view container, preferably with async support. In addition to the async image loader service, Crosslight 2 also provides ready-to-use async ready image view. When the image view invokes the image loader service, first, it tries to load the image from the memory cache. If it exists, it will return the image to the device. But if not, it will check to the disk cache and checks whether the image is valid. If the image is valid, it is retrieved back to the device. If it's not, it will download the images from the remote server and store it to the cache. This way, you can rest assured that the image view implementations in Crosslight is built smart and efficient enough to provide great user experience. Other essential services included in Crosslight 2 are authentication and cryptographic services to support user authentication, local device storage services to save and load files from the device, resource loader services to load files from remote resource, resource cache services to load resources from cache, and also account store services to store and load accounts that is used in single sign-on process. Crosslight 2 also comes with comprehensive tooling support for Visual Studio. For example, the entity designer we have seen earlier and the Crosslight Project Wizard. Crosslight Project Wizard is now equipped with new templates such as the Business App template and the Navigation Drawer template. Crosslight Project Wizard is a powerful extension that comes with the installation of Crosslight. The Crosslight Project Wizard provides ready-to-use templates such as the blank template, the master detail template, multi-page template, and the navigation template. Crosslight 2 comes with two new templates, which are the business template and the navigation drawer template. I'll show you how easy it is to create a full-fledged business app using the Crosslight Project Wizard. When you first install Crosslight, you will get the Crosslight Project Wizard in the new Project Wizard here. I will choose the Business app and hit OK.
the is express requires certain informations to be inserted to the application host.config. This binding here will allow the is express server to be accessed anywhere, just like original EEs. This form builder also comes with validation support. Now, this is the navigation drawer I have talked about earlier. We also have a built-in support for user profile management. Allowing you to change the profile picture and also change several details here. You can also see the improvements in our form builder in the change password section. If you click at it, this will navigate to a child form builder that allows you to change your password. If I update my name here, it will automatically reflect on the navigation drawer. <clears throat> we also have the my, my inventory ported here. This comes with image loader support, but since it's running locally, you might not see it clearly. Details about the image loader will be explained in tomorrow's webinar. What we mean by template here means that if I change the background of this app completely, it will have different look and feel. I'll show you what I mean. Users can quickly jump and start their mobile apps with full feature business apps. Including user management, authentication, social network integration, push notification, and much more. This is what I mean by, you can easily change the branding of this app to match the branding of your app. That's around five minutes, right? Let's move on to the slides. Crosslight tool also ships with new samples, such as the Web API enabled inventory tracker sample, the master detail view with drawer sample we have seen earlier, and the reporting services sample. You can download it all from our JIT repository at jit.intersoftpt.com. So far, we have seen what Crosslight tool has to offer. It includes all the essential tools, powerful frameworks, services, and UI components that lets you rapidly build great cross-platform mobile apps. You can now build enterprise apps, business apps, consumer apps, productivity apps, social apps, sync apps, and much more. It's time for Q&A sessions which will be around 10 minutes time. Please submit your questions on the right panel. Our panelists will help you to answer any questions you have about Crosslight. So a question from David. Does the Crosslight Web API work on Linux, Linux platform too? 
or is it Windows only? The cross light web API work on Windows only because we need Visual Studio to run the web API server. Nick Turner posted a question. Can REST client connect to MongoDB? Mr. Andrew, perhaps you can help us with the question. Yes, hello. Yes, uh, yeah. you can hear uh, me, Andrew. Okay, for uh, Nick Turner's question, uh, can REST client connect to MongoDB? Um, MongoDB. Uh, REST client is actually uh, Data access component uh, to access a REST service. Uh, I'm not sure about the MongoDB, is it a REST service or not? But actually, uh, uh, basically, REST, cli REST client is, is only able to access uh, any REST service that available in the internet. So you can use the REST client to access to, uh, REST service such as Twitter, uh, Flickr, Foursquare, and so on. Uh, I think MongoDB is a local data storage, right? Uh, uh, for now, we don't have uh, data access for this, uh, but we can consider it for the future later. Okay, thank you, Andrew, for helping to answer the question. Now, David has posted another question. Is Project Wizard available in Xamarin Studio? The, question, the answer for that question is currently no. The Crosslight Project Wizard is only available for Visual Studio, running Visual Studio 2012 and upwards. But also, we are planning uh, to add more um, item templates for Xamarin Studio as well. Are there any further questions? Okay, so another question from William. You have many templates to create app project. Does any walkthrough lab to learn the Crosslight framework? So of course, Will, you can visit our developer center at developer.interestofpt.com to learn more about Crosslight. Not only uh, templates and walkthrough labs, but you can also find conceptual topics, uh, illustrations, um, samples, and video tutorials here as well. Actually, I will introduce the Developer Center uh, later at the end of this webinar. Do you have any further questions? If not, then I will close this Q&A session and move on to the closing slides and wrap up this webinar. Introducing the Intersoft Developer Center. Here you can find a wealth of resources to all your questions in regards to cross-site development. This developer center will be continually maintained and updated when new feature or fixes comes along. On par with Apple and Google Developer Center, the Intersoft Developer Center aims to be one-stop spot for all your development needs with Intersoft products. In the future, all our product lineups will be eventually migrated to this developer center. Join us for a more data pack webinar tomorrow at the same hour with Mr. Andre Handoko Susilo. He will cover in depth topics ranging from data access concepts, entity designer extensions, pull to refresh, incremental loading and refresh. Also, you will see how to build a mobile CRM app easily using Crosslight. If you haven't tried Crosslight, you can download Crosslight today at intersoftpt.com slash request trial. If you have any pre-sales questions, feel free to email us at sales at intersoftpt.com. If you have technical questions, please post it at our forums at intersoftpt.com slash community slash Crosslight. Also visit our developer center to learn more about Crosslight. We also have our JIT samples repository that you can visit at jit.intersoftpt.com.
Thank you for attending this webinar and see you tomorrow.